This is a communication aid made with a little programmable device called a microbit. Press one button and it shows a smiley face, press the other button and it shows a frowny face. The concept is similar to this octopus plushie I have for my toddler. If you're in a good mood and you want to play with people, you show the smiley face, but if you're feeling a little grumpy and you want people to leave you alone, you can flip it inside out to show a frowny face instead. This helps young children who haven't learned to speak yet express their emotions to others around them, but devices like this can also be used by older kids and adults who, for a variety of reasons like different medical conditions, might have trouble communicating verbally. There are many different types of communication aids, also called augmentative and assistive communication devices. Some are low-tech and simply consist of a grid of pictures that the user can point to, and others can generate speech based on an option the user selects. They can also work with different inputs. Not everybody can use their fingers to push a button, so these devices might work with something like eye tracking or gestures instead. This is where programming your own communication aid with the microbit gets interesting because it has more inputs than just the two buttons on the front. For example, it has an accelerometer that can detect motion and tilt. This is the same type of sensor used in your smartphone to detect the orientation when it needs to rotate the screen. I have this one programmed to scroll the text hello across this grid of LEDs when I shake it. To learn more about the other inputs and outputs on the microbit, like the buzzer that you can use to play sound, check out the written instructions linked in the description of this video. For now, let's switch over to the computer and look at a basic coding tutorial that you can use to start your own communication aid. We'll be doing our coding in a block-based language called Microsoft MakeCode. You can also program a microbit in JavaScript and Python. So if this is your first time using a microbit and you need help getting started with this and starting a new program, remember to check out the link in the video description. When you start a new make block program, you will have these on start and forever blocks. The on start block will run once when your program starts and then the forever block will loop forever. But we actually don't need to use those in this program. Instead, we are going to go over here to input on the menu and select this block for on button A pressed. And this will make some code happen when you press button A. So I'm gonna drag this out here. And then we need to decide what will happen when I press button A. And remember that I chose to show a smiley face, but this is just an example. You could make the micro bit do whatever you want when that button is pressed. So to show the smiley face, I am going to go up here to basic. I'm going to find the show icon block, drag that out, and I need to snap it inside the on button A pressed block. I can now select this drop down menu and choose from a variety of pre programmed icons. I am going to go with the smiley face here. But note that if you did not want to use one of these pre programmed icons, you can also design your own by going to basic and dragging out this show LEDs block where you can click to set the different LEDs and design your own icon. Now I would like to add a second section of code that does something when button B is pressed. And I could do that by dragging the blocks out from the menu again, but I can also right click an existing block and select duplicate and you can see it duplicated that entire section of code for me. So I can now just use the drop down menus to change to different options. I'm going to select button B, but note that I could also select buttons A plus B to do something when both buttons are pressed at the same time. So I'm going to change that to button B and then change this drop down menu to the frowny face. Finally, I also want the micro bit to do something when I shake it. So to do that, I'm going to go here to the input section of the menu, drag out the on shake block. And now instead of displaying an icon, I want to display some text so I can find that under basic and the show string block, drag that out and snap it in. And the default text here is hello, but you can click to change that to whatever you want. Also note that if you click the drop down menu here, there are a bunch of different options for different motions that the micro bit can detect. So you do not have to use shake. You can now test your program in the in browser micro bit simulator by clicking on the buttons. For example, if I click the A button here, it will show the smiley face. 
If I click the B button, it will show the frowny face. And since I can move my mouse around to tilt the micro bit in the browser, but I can't really shake it, it gives me a shake button here to simulate shaking. But remember that there is no shake button on the physical micro bit. You have to actually shake it. Once you've tested in the simulator and your code is working the way you want it, you can follow the on-screen instructions to download the program to your physical micro bit. I'm not going to demonstrate it in this video, but you can also experiment with other outputs, for example, by going here to the music menu and having your micro bit play different melodies, tones, or sound effects. Remember that for written instructions for this project, you can check out the link in the video description. For more micro bit projects and over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.